This is the test administrator training module for the Oregon's statewide interim assessment system required for all district and school test coordinators, as well as all test administrators. This training module includes an overview of the Oregon balanced assessment system and interim assessment features, and the interim assessment test security and remote administration features. Overview of the Oregon Balanced Assessment System and Interim Assessment Features. The Oregon Statewide Assessment System consists of three components. This training module pertains to the Interim Assessment System designed to support teaching and learning throughout the year. However, it includes tools and resources in Tools for Teachers that support classroom-based formative assessment practices. This training includes the following interim assessment systems. Please note, the science interim assessments are only available to those schools or districts which have purchased the package. The Oregon Interim Assessment System for ELA and Mathematics is free to educators statewide, including tools for teachers. ODE has worked with both Smarter Balanced and Cambium Assessment Incorporated to provide educators and students with a remote administration options. The Interim Assessment System provides the same accessibility supports as the OSAS Summative Assessment System for ELA and Mathematics. Additionally, there is a comprehensive assessment which mirrors the OSAS Summative Assessment and Scale Score. Educators have further flexibility in administration by providing access to out of grade level interim assessments aligned to both the Oregon State standards and the full complexity of those standards. An additional feature allows teachers to access the interim assessment items, which will be further discussed in the interim test security section of this training module. The Oregon Interim Assessment System provides flexibility in the types of assessments available for educator administration. As previously discussed, the ICAs provide a complete assessment option which mirrors the summative assessment. Additionally, educators are provided IABs or Interim Assessment Blocks which target a wide range of connected standards or F. IABs, focused interim assessment blocks, which target a smaller scope of standards. Please note the science interim assessment contains only interim assessment blocks. Additional flexibility allows educators to administer the interim assessments in both a standardized on-demand format similar to the summative assessment or in a non-standardized administration, allowing for flexibility of use during instruction. Again, we will discuss test security further in this module. The interim assessment must be activated for educators by either their district testing coordinator or their local school testing coordinator. The decision to allow educators access to the interim assessments is determined by their district. If the educator has completed the 2019-20 test administrator requirements, they will only need to provide evidence that they have completed this Module 8 interim assessment training. If an educator did not have a test administrator user account from the 2019 2020 instructional year, or if the educator has transitioned to a new district which is different from last year, they must complete the reading requirements in Table 5 of the Test Administration Manual. And, in addition to completing this Module 8, they must complete training modules 2, 3, 
and 4. Interim Assessment Test Security and Remote Administration Features In order to administer the interim assessments in a remote setting, educators must meet the following conditions. 1. The interims must be administered by an authorized employee who has completed the required trainings. 2. The test administrator must monitor test activity and student access to limit the amount of time any test is open in a remote setting. 3. Educators must provide information to parents and students on administration practices to support students' access and use of the interim assessment tool. 4. Educators must follow FERPA guidelines including a student's SSID or other personally identifiable information. 5. Educators shall provide a secure method for students to gain access to their SSID numbers required to log in to the interim assessment system. And finally, 6. If the test administrator suspects an item has been shared on social media, they should immediately contact their district testing coordinator to report the issue to ODE. Additionally, test administrators should follow the following guidance when administering interim assessments, whether in person or in a remote setting. Know the purpose for administering the interim assessments. Choose the interim assessment that will provide the best information. Provide students necessary supports and considerations in order for students to demonstrate their knowledge and skills and use information to guide next steps or additional support within instructional practices. The following provides an example of what should not be done within the context of interim assessment administration. Do not post items on the internet or on any public page. Do not email interim assessment test items. Do not email or text personal or confidential information as discussed on the previous slide. This includes directly to parents. And finally, please use a secure method as outlined by your district for communication. Within the OSAS portal, there is the interim assessment button teachers will use to navigate to both test administration portal and additional interim assessment resources, which support the remote administration feature of the interim assessment system. Educators will use the same process as described in module two test administration to activate or assign an interim assessment for students. As previously stated, students can access a remote interim assessment site by navigating to the Students and Families button and selecting the Remote Interim Student Testing Site. For further guidance in supporting the student login process, please refer to Training Module Number 2. Educators will navigate to the Interim Assessments button and select the Test Administration button using their TA login credentials. Again, for specific information on navigating the TA portal, please refer to Training Module Number 2. Once logged into the system, educators will select the interim assessment they wish to assign for students' access. Once again, the Science Interim Assessment System is only available to those districts which purchased the package. As shown, a teacher can choose the content area they would like to administer. They can further select the type of interim assessment, whether an IAB, ICA, or FIAB and the grade level they would like to access. Once again, the interim assessment system allows for flexible administration both in and out of grade level. Finally, educators can select the instructional content of the selected interim type for final administration.
as previously stated, by navigating to the Interim Assessment button, educators can access numerous resources within the OSAS portal. One feature available for educators is the Assessment Viewing application, which allows educators to preview items included in the different types of interim assessments available for use. As a reminder, following the test security guidance, educators can use this function as part of their non-standardized use to enhance classroom instructional practices. For access to resources discussed in this training, or for additional resources for the interim assessment system, please navigate to the ODE Interim Assessment webpage or the OSAS portal webpage. This concludes Module 8, Interim Assessments, Remote Administration, and Test Security.